What I'd love to do to end on the final note, because I know that um, we would love to be talking to you all, all day long, but we can't. So we're gonna end on one final thing. And that is, what I'd like to find out from you is your wish for the world. Um, and particularly when I think about science or STEM overall, um, as you know, with G4G, where we love to encourage science um, studies for everyone, but we have a particular focus uh, to change the, the outlook for girls in STEM in particular. Um, and so what is your wish for the world, whether it's related to this or overall? Um, what last advice would you give to all the people that are online today? So I'm going to just go quickly around and, and ask for you to, to say a few words. I'm going to start with Emma because you're right on the, the top next to me, at least in my view. Hi, um, I think my, my wish for, um, for STEM is for, is, is for diversity, for more people to be involved, a lot more people. We have a lot of problems and um, they're only going to be um, solved with STEM and STEM subjects. Um, at the moment, COVID-19, they're looking to STEM to get us out of that. Um, uh, sustainability, clean energy, these are all huge topics that, that STEM is going to help us get out of. And um, So I just think we, we need more diversity, more people, more opinions. And uh, we'll find we'll find the solutions to these to these problems. Um, I was in a meeting once with a client, and uh, we made a risk recommendation. And they said um, the guy was like, "Oh no, I can't because of this, 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 and this." And the risk manager just shut him down and said, "Even difficult problems we can solve." Yeah. And that was it. <laughs> it's true. And yeah. STEM will really help that. So that's that's what I hope we get more diversity. And it's a great message for now because it is a difficult moment and it's in we need science and we need diversity i love that as a as a great message thank you for that pita what do you have for us one of the things that sort of come out uh, you know obviously there's huge problems at the moment with COVID 19 but i think you know those people who are sort of um in poverty are sort of suffering the most and so for me yeah using science and stem to like find sustainable food sources and that kind of thing um is really important Great, thank you. Nicola, what do you have? I, um, I think I wish for everyone to tackle their inner doubt in the way that Merit has managed to. That's, I think that if everybody can uh, turn off that voice that says, oh, I don't think you can do it, um, mm -hmm. that would be really helpful. So that's, I think that's what I wish for the world is uh, for all those uh, inner critics to shut up and if we can all learn from Merit how to do that then that's wonderful. Fantastic, thank you. And Merit? Um, I would wish that uh, that there's a reminder when learning sciences that it's actually there's so much you need so much creativity and imagination and that it's not just this rote thing where we memorize and regurgitate that actually when you're in the experiment when you're in the lab like as an artist I've always found such a thrill being in the experiments working in like thinking about different ways of thinking of like these photons and quantum and like that it's so necessary to so if you think that you're incredibly imaginative and creative and think that science is actually supposed to be analytical and you know mo like they actually the more creative you are the more inspired you are the bet that means you are that would make you a great scientist and not the other way and that if you're creative you'd be a bad bad scientist uh-uh yeah, like you need that imagination and creativity. 